welcome back to my channel I know you'll all be really upset because you love to see my face in these intros but unfortunately I didn't have one for you guys today and I really wanted to get this video up so I'm gonna get straight into it this is a Bella that we are working on today I will leave links to my website down below where you can purchase this beautiful hand and today we are gonna be using CJP's peach sorbet and we're also gonna be using CJP's silver bells Mm, I love these colours so much and yeah, let's get into the video. So I've already prepped the nails, I've taken away the surface shine and all of that and I'm now going in with peach sorbet. So I'm basically just taking peach sorbet, I'm going to be using this on all of the nails and I'm just fading it, I'm nearly covering the whole nail but mainly just fading it down towards the end because we're going to go for kind of like an ombre look today and yes, I'll talk you through it as it goes along. I think I was happy with the end result but this finger especially didn't go really as planned because I used way too much silver bells but you'll see that when we get to that but yeah I'm just applying this and then I'm trying to like plan it down and really like you know make it as smooth as I can I should probably also just mention that I'm actually being a little bit naughty and I'm using a Nail Nails monomer with this. Uh, it, obviously it's not as easy to work with when you don't use the right monomer but CJP is a really really good brand and it is so easy to work with. Like the I don't know what they do with it but it is seriously really really good. If you're in the UK, I mean they do ship like internationally as well but it is a really good brand so yeah just thought I'd say that because um, it does kind of look like I'm struggling a little bit but I do think like I completely blame that on my lack of skill <laughs> of course but also the fact that I'm not using the correct full system because the CJP powders are just they are really easy to work with I did end up trying to build the apex here and then I realised I didn't actually have to because I am going to come in and cap this with clear anyway but you know, you live and you learn, it's all good. So by the way, I'm just like not loving this angle, I feel like I'm just not loving this angle but I have actually just today as I'm filming this voiceover, I have actually just sorted out I think the angle and the way the lens is, well the, not the lens, the way the, the way the camera is set, the way the ring light is set and the way the hat, like the way I'm going to be holding my client, like, all that kind of jazz. So yeah hopefully in the next one the, the angle and everything will be better. Hopefully. A little tip I'm going to give you all as well, if you are using a poochie pa- uh, uh, That made sense. If you are using one of poochie's nails practice hands, a little tip that I would like to advise is to cover around the cuticle with Vaseline. Uh, it is something that poochie does mention in one of the videos. 
but I, I and I, I think it makes it look better as well you know that it's gonna keep if you do get anything on it it's gonna help that be more of a release and that's what I did before I started filming I just thought I would let you guys know that I do show you me do that before I apply gel later on as well but yeah just apply some Vaseline around the finger obviously do not get it on the nail bed because that will cause lots of problems but yeah just on the actual skin of the hand and yeah I think it's a super good idea So this is where I pick up way too much silver bells. Uh, it looks fine in the end uh, because I just decided to have two nails as like lots of silver bells and two nails as more peach sorbet if that makes sense. But I think I underestimated how seriously pigmented this is. The silver bells, like it's not just like um, a see-through clear glitter type thing. It's full on silver sparkly glitter. It's super, super nice. But yeah, I definitely underestimated how pigmented it is. And I picked up too much. So yeah, that's my story. So going into this one, I picked up a much smaller bead and then this just seems to have faded a lot, a lot easier, a lot nicer. And I really like the ombre, I really like the look of ombre nails. Like, does anyone else really like ombre nails? <laughs> I do think they look really pretty. I think they're very, like, soft and feminine maybe. I don't know, but I just really do like them. So this is where I decided I was going to have like two nails, more silver bells and two nails, less silver bells. So I'm just going in now with a bit more silver bells on the pinky finger so I can really take it much further down towards the cuticle area. I loved working with Bella so much. I loved working on this Pooch's Realistic Practice Hand. I can't even explain. When you do a set of nails, I always think this when I'm looking at like pictures that people have done. Even if the nails are the most beautiful nails ever, they just, you don't get the same effect when you're looking at it on one of the practice like trainer hands as to when it's on like a real human hand. Even though the nails are absolutely amazing and gorgeous, it just it isn't the same. And these, in a photo, this looks like 100% a real hand. Like, you would never know. And even, like, in video as well, I just think it made me feel... It just made me feel like I was working on a proper person. The nails looked so much better afterwards because they weren't big, massive, like, nail trainer nails and stuff. And, yeah, I just... I'm so pleased with this hand and... I'm so happy that I took the leap and I decided to get them and yeah, I'm so glad that I can offer it to you guys here in the UK as well. So if anybody is interested, please leave me a message or a comment down below or find me in my Facebook group. I'll try and remember to add that. I should be able to remember to add that. Um, but yeah, I'm like in love.
So yeah, I'm just capping all of these nails now with clear. Now for the clear, I used the Millennium that I got in my first book haul. So I just need to say, this is really difficult to work with. I really did struggle with this, as you can even just see there. But the Millennium, the millennium that I used, I wasn't using it with the Corex monomer. I was using it with the Nail monomer. So that could be why it wasn't that great. And also it was second hand, so it could have just been really, really old and just not at its best ability. I would never just take it and say Millennium is rubbish because it's not being used how it's supposed to be used. So I just wanted to say that as well because uh, I do like to let you guys know what I'm using but I also don't want you thinking that it's a bad product when it could just literally be that it's an old product or that it's not being used in the correct way. So just thought I'd tell you all that. So just going in with a regular filing technique, sidewalls, cuticle area, just basically regular filing. I didn't get this much on camera because like I said, I was very, very careful. I advise you to be really, really careful when you are filing. You do not want to cut this nail. You do not want to cut the cuticle in any way. You need to be really, really careful. So I'm now taking some Vaseline, which I would advise to do before you even start filing as well. But I'm now taking some Vaseline and I'm just putting that around the cuticle area and around the finger, just so that I don't get any of the clear top coat gel on the finger because we do not want that. You never want to get anything on the finger, just as if this is a real client. You need to literally treat this like a real client, but be even carefuler. The top coat I'm using here is a colour couture one. It's just one that I've had for ages and I'm wanting to probably use that up. And yeah, I'm just going to cap all of these nails but being really, really careful that I don't get any on the hand. Um, the way that I did this was I did the middle to the ends first and then I went in towards the cuticle because I didn't want this to like flood the cuticle in any way. So that is what I'm doing. I then gave it a really good cure in my little lamp and that is it guys, that is the finished result. What do you guys think? I think it looks real pretty and yeah. So this is obviously, I put the rings back on her because I decided to take the bottom rings off to do this but yeah. Put the rings back on and I just think Bella is beautiful and I'm really pleased with these nails like I feel like these are decent enough that a client would actually be happy with these if that makes sense so yeah anyway that is it for this video guys I hope you enjoyed it please do give me a thumbs up and if you are new here make sure to subscribe there's going to be so many more videos coming with the Poochie's Nails practice hands and I love you guys so so much and I'll see you in the next one Bye!